In this tutorial, we'll learn how to find a fake book that includes a specific tune. The first step is to search the catalog for the tune name. Let's say we're looking for Blue Train. So on the Allen Library homepage, in the Catalog tab of the search box, I'll type the tune name, Blue Train. And then we'll also add the words Fake Books. Then limit the format to Printed Music and click Go. In your results list, click on the title of a fake book to see the detailed record and make sure the tune is actually there. Let's try this one, the real little best fake book ever. If the words in your tune are common words, they may show up in some other tune name, so you need to look through the contents list to make sure the tune is actually there. A handy trick is to use Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac. I'm on a PC, so I'll hit Control F, which brings up a search box, and then I'll type the tune name, Blue Train, and that will search the web page for those words. You'll notice it didn't find any results in the contents list of this fake book. This record includes the word blue in a couple places, and the word train in one place, but it doesn't include those words together as one tune name. So let's go back to the list of search results and click on one of the other options. I'll choose this first one, Real Jazz Classics Fake Book. So in the detailed record, I'll hit Control F again and search for Blue Train, and we find the correct tune. In this record, you can also see why we include the words fake books in our catalog search. Every catalog record for a fake book will include the words fake books as a subject. So by adding those words to our catalog search, we eliminate other results that are not fake books. To find this in the library, we can just scroll to the bottom to find the call number and then go find it on the shelf. Now let's try a different tune. We'll look for hard eights. So back up to the top in the catalog search box, we'll search for the title, hard eights, and the words fake books. Limit the format to printed music and click go. Now we get only one result for this search. And if we do control F and search for the tune name, hard eights, we see that it's not actually included here. But you're not out of luck. Not all of the catalog records for fake books will include a list of all the tunes. So to find the tunes in those books, we'll have to use an index. One of the best indexes to use is the one at seventhstring.com. So in the search box at the top of the page, we'll just enter the tune name, hard eights, and click search. Our results list gives us a list of all of the fake books that include this tune. In this case, it's only one. But then we have to see if we actually own this fake book in our library by going back to the catalog and searching again. So I'll copy the entire title of the fake book then go back to the catalog and paste it into the search box. And I'll also delete hyphens or any other non-text characters. And then click go. Now it comes up with no results, but here's another tip. VOL stands for volume and it could be in the catalog record that it's written out the whole word, volume, or it could be shortened to just V period. Those results wouldn't come up in this search since they don't match the term exactly. So let's just take that out of our search and try again. And if we scroll down, we see it's right here. The New Real Book by Chuck Schur, and here's volume three. It didn't come up the first time since volume is written out instead of abbreviated. If we click on that to open the detailed record, we can see that this one doesn't include a contents list, 
which is why it didn't come up when we searched for the tune name. But since we use the index to find the tune, we know it's included in this book. Then all you have to do is get the call number and go find the book on the shelf.